Oh, man. So I hope you guys are having some good luck with your, uh, you know, summoning pools here um, on Ephraim. But uh, Ephraim's brought along a few things that are pretty funny. But also, I, I'm just kind of nervous a bit here, guys. Kind of worried a little bit here because uh, I'm kind of wondering how long this is going to be at the top of the pages here. You remember how long Fjorm was up at the top of the notifications where it was like, hey, discover Fjorm. Here's discover Vanguard Ike over and over again, probably for the next month or so. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, man, when, when Ephraim was revealed, and this has been something that's kind of been going on for a lot uh, lately when it came to Choose Your Legends and a lot of this nonsense here, uh, a lot of you were like, man, is that Choose Your Legends, Ephraim? And it's just like, what? <laughs> um, I, I've been noticing this a bit lately with a lot of a lot of the uh, newer banners, at least when it came to things like Celica and Hector and all this other stuff, because it seems seems pretty funny. But uh, some people seem to think that just making a character takes like maybe a week and just like hire an artist, get some you know sprite work done. Bam, there you go, there's a character, it's all done and ready, and here's Choose Your Legends Ephraim or something. We're basing this off of, you know, Choose Your Legends, which... I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown real quick because I found this pretty hilarious and <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of you, some of you are like, oh man, it could have been used on a different character, but I, I feel that when it comes down to choose your legends and things like that, it, it really just, it depends, it, you know, eventually we're going to get those characters you probably want, but they're going to show up eventually, so don't worry too much. I'm sure a legendary Marth someday someday down the road will come I'm, I'm almost certain of it because he's such a you know big part of the series and everything from there but uh i'm just going to give you guys a bit of an idea um when it comes to new quote unquote characters so uh lynn this is of course brave lynn brave lady lynn uh she was you know top female last year well technically would, would it be the year before that because i because I'm pretty sure it was the vote for that was like in January of 2016, you know, before the item. Anyways, um, <laughs> so technically that started in January of 2016. So the question then became, when did these characters come out? When did these all, you know, show up? And well, Lynn and all of the brave heroes, which honestly, a lot of those units still you stay. Everyone loves Brave Ike. Everyone loves Brave Lynn. Um, you know, some of you love Brave Lucina, some of you love Brave Roy, but all of them were released in August of 2017. So that gives you an idea of the time span and that it really takes to not only formulate a character, but also put them into, you know, conception, you know, draw again, hire an artist to draw the, you know, artwork for these characters, because every character is a different artist, usually. Um, and then, of course, from there, you know, work on their skill set, their abilities. One thing that that does need to note here is that a lot of the time that it comes to creating characters, it's a it's it's a very odd little thing that started off at the start of the game. A lot of characters just kind of got hodgepodge skills, but lately, a lot of the time when it comes to new banners, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that they always have a much clearer vision for the characters as they come along, which is something that's just amazing to me and something that's great. But uh, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this going, oh man, the, the only reason we have a Valentine Hector is because he came out, you know, he got top of the uh, list and Choose Your Legends, and it's just like, you do, it, I'm pretty sure that they know exactly who the more popular characters are in these kind of events. <laughs> because, I'll be pretty honest, I, I know a lot of people really, really love Hector, and I, I'm pretty sure IS was like, you know what, we could probably make some money off of that. Here, let's just put a new Hector, give him, our, you know, a newer version of Armads and just sell that baby. And that's pretty much what I, I assume a lot of this is, is that it's just proper planning. I mean, give you a better idea, you know, I'm sure, you know, eventually we'll probably end up with another version of Reinhardt. He's just so popular. But uh, <laughs> I just find it hilarious because now we have Celica, who is, you know, let me see if I can't pull up the possessed Celica real quick. Yep, she's right here. You know, a lot of you were like, oh man, she's going to get beloved. So, you know, Sophia, when when she gets a legendary, the choose your legends thing. And then along comes possessed Celica and she has beloved. So Sophia. Oh, <laughs> that really raises the question of what choose your legends Celica is going to be like that ups the bar even further. And then, of course, Hector, he's already come out. He has, you know, a newer version of Armads. Who knows? Maybe that will be able to be evolved to blazing Armads if you, you know, sometime further down the road. Who knows for certain? But uh, a lot of you have been 
speculating like, oh man, they're they're only picking legendary heroes or putting seasonal units in there. But the simple fact is, chances are a lot of these have been planned way before any Choose Your Legends, and they're simply just looking at the most popular units because, well, that's what sells well. But the best part is, we know that there's going to be even stronger versions of a lot of these characters out there. There's going to be stronger versions of what we have in Hector, which is terrifying with Valentine's Hector. There's going to be stronger versions of the Celica that we have here. I don't know if she'll be using her Zofia or not, or if she'll even be a sword or tome unit. Maybe she'll be something completely different. But uh, I, I like to speculate. I like to think about these kind of things. And I love hearing what your opinions are when it comes to newer heroes. And, you know, a as much as I like to say quotation new, at least it's not Fate's Awakening every seasonal banner like it's been for a long time. We got a lot of, you know, interesting ones. We got another Lin, of course, but we got another Lilina, Lilina and, you know, Roy and all that other fun stuff. And I'm hopeful that a lot of the newer next seasonal banners, and things like that, are going to be great. And I just I found it funny. Um, I, I I love seeing newer, you know, newer versions of characters we already have. And I'm sure some may not be too happy that Ephraim's there, but, you know, you, you get what you get. And chances are we're going to see a lot more. Legendary heroes are just going to be a thing that are happening now. <laughs> a lot of those uh, original characters, I'm sure maybe someday we'll get them. But uh who boy, there's been a lot of debate over that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry for the ramble, but I just wanted to talk to the uh, talk to you guys about this because it's really odd. I, I had so many questions in the comments about if this was Choose Your Legends or why does Ephraim get one when he's when he's gonna get a Choose Your Legends character? Well, probably because they they knew who was going to win the vote. Probably didn't expect Veronica to get that far, but hey, either way, so. Simply put, we probably have until about August at the earliest until we get the next Choose Your Legends characters. So if anyone really thinks that this is just because of Choose Your Legends, well, you know, yeah, you, you have a little bit more to debate. But uh, in the meantime, you know, just just go get your Ike. Did, did you get your Vanguard Legend Ike yet? Just wondering, you probably should go do that. Just saying. Go get him. Get him. Anyways, I'm going to go and continue to work on a fun little project here uh, involving three Takumis and just standing there menacingly. Anyways, see you soon. Hope to see you all very soon in the future. Bye!